Mum? 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 <laughs> Sticky note. You can't be too careful. Can't have hackers logging into my camera and watching your dad do his daily squats or me walking around the house naked. Oh. What do you have for tea? Just some soup. You? Potato hash with a crust Ooh. and red cabbage. <laughs> and a small glass of red wine. You're right, Mum. Where's Dad? He's in the outhouse. Why? Do you want to get him for me? It's right at the bottom of the garden. Can you not speak to him tomorrow? What's going on? Right. You're not to worry. He's had to go into isolation. Why didn't you ring me? No, no it's not what you think. Is he okay? How bad is he? Well, I've been spiking his food with ground up chilli flakes and mustard powder for three days, so he's got a pretty bad cough and his temperature's gone up. <laughs> he was doing my head in. I just needed some peace. I thought if I could make him think that he had it, then I'd have the time I needed. Hey, it's all right. He's still being fed and watered. And... Um, He's got the old outside loo if he needs to go. Are you being serious? Yeah, deadly. He's fine. Mm. And if he needs anything, you can always get a hold of me on this. I'm going to put the batteries back in. Okay. Make sure you do. I will. I promise. Mm. I'm going to ring him, check he's okay. Has he got his mobile on him? Uh, yeah, but please... Don't say anything, please. It's only a week. Mm, all right. Only if he's okay where he is. Thanks, love. You're a star. <laughs> Hello, Dad. You all right? Mum said you weren't doing too well. No. All is good on this end. I've got everything I need. Wi-Fi, electricity, heating. Food? Water? Mm, plenty. I've got a mini fridge, kettle, hose pipe outside. Did you call 111? No. I just need to drink plenty of milk. Milk? Yeah. She's been slipping me chilli and mustard powder all week. I'm not daft. Well, I've got to say, though, it's the most adventurous her cooking's been in years. And... You were just playing along. Of course, you've got to have some fun. She's made us top and tail in bed for the past three weeks, just in case I breathe in her face while she's sleeping. She's not been to the chiropodist in months. Now, I love your mother, but her toenails are like talons. They're taken chunks out of my chest. Mm. I thought I could stick it out, but... And she started dropping hints about giving her a foot massage. I've been smuggling bits and pieces out here for days before she came up with her little plan to get me out of the house. I don't blame her, though. I mean, sometimes I get on my own nerves. Dad, couldn't you just offer to do a feat? Yes. I've seen your mother give birth, and parts of that were beautiful. But there are some lines that even a husband shouldn't cross. But Dad... Ex <clears throat> oh, hang on a minute, love. Uh, here I am. Oh, sorry about that. I needed to check that something was recording. I'm having problems. The channel keeps changing and I can only watch things that are in Welsh. Can't you get Dad to come in and check it? I'm not letting him back in here. That'll be it. I'd never get him out again. And besides, I've got plans. You can't go anywhere. Just because I've got nowhere to go doesn't mean I can't make plans. <laughs> All right, your call. Cool. Speak <laughs> to you tomorrow.
Oh, Dad, the telly's playing up. Mum's really struggling. All of her shows have stopped recording and it keeps switching over to the Welsh Channel. I know. What? Look what I found. <laughs> the one we lost when we were decorating the living room. I found it in a box full of paintbrushes. Can I even reach from the bottom of the garden? Not when she closes the kitchen window, no. I've had to sneak up to the French doors a couple of times. Almost got caught this afternoon after tripping over that bloody great hedgehog ornament someone got us for Christmas. Thanks a bunch for that. Uh, did you break it? I won't talk to you unless I have a lawyer. Hey, love. Hey, Mum, how's it going? Next door's dog got in our garden again, relieved itself all over my daffodils, and it must have gotten hold of some chocolate. Ooh. It's broken the leg off that hedgehog, you know, the lovely one you gave us for Christmas. Yeah, I remember. I'll see if Dad can fix it once he gets out of isolation. I don't know where the glue is. Mum, it was Dad. What, he shat on the daffodils? No, Mum, at least I don't think so. It sounds like the sort of thing you'd do. What, shit in the garden? Yeah. He wouldn't let me buy a bag of manure from the garden centre because it cost eight ninety nine. You know how we won't spend more than a fiver on anything. And now my strawberries are all limp. Why would he do it on the daffodils? Must have been practising. Getting his own back. No, he wouldn't. You haven't known him for as long as I have. When you were young, he once relieved himself on a nest of fire ants in your sandpit because he thought it would kill them. The entire street could hear him yelling, Get away from me, you bitch! As he sprayed his wheel all over the nest like he was in control of some flamethrower, back and forth, back and forth. It got confused with jellyfish stings, got his thing bitten. Had to spend a whole week in the spare room on antihistamine scratching. Well, that was too much information. I'll speak to you tomorrow, Mum. All personnel must evacuate immediately. You now have 15 minutes to minimum safe distance. Hi, love. Dad? Did you defecate in the daffodils? What? I'm being serious, Dad. Did you do your daily business in the daffodils just to prove a point? And what point would that be? I really don't know that you think you're always right. No, love. I don't need to prove that. It already goes without saying. And I've more than enough toilet rolls. I stocked up before everyone started panic buying. So I'm way off resorting to handfuls of grass. All right. How many rolls have you got? 36. 36? 36 for me, 36 for your mum. Whoa, that's a bit extreme. It's, it was an offer. Well, that's no excuse. It's not panic buying. It's called uh, having 2020 vision. I've had them for months. Since when? Just before Brexit. These ones are before Brexit, BB. There's before Brexit and before Corona. I bought these BB. I'm not BSing you either. I can't believe you've got 72 toilet rolls in the house. They're not in the house. I've been using them as extra pillows. Oh, I am not BSing you about the BB. got back. It's a long day. I thought you didn't go back for a couple of days. 
you've got to look after yourself too, you know. I know, I'm trying. We both love you, you know. Yeah, I know. I love you too. I can't wait for this to be over and things to be back to normal. Have you spoken to him today? Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's doing fine. I just radioed him. And you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Do you know, my, <laughs> my Welsh is really coming on. That's brilliant, that. Picking up a new skill. Nuswedda a croiso. It's good, that, Mum. Dioch. <laughs> I ran out of toilet paper earlier. I radioed your dad. And he came straight out. Posted some toilet rolls through the letterbox. Hmm? I knew I married him for a reason. Mark, my dog has sleep. My dog has sleep. My dog has sleep.